What is up, Posy people? Frank here. Welcome to the Super Posy Show. And I've got a couple things to talk to you guys about. So this video is going to be kind of a reworked version of the apartment tour video I did from a while back. So there are a couple reasons why I actually want to redo this video. First off, I filmed it on my old camera, which wasn't even full HD, so honestly, it looks kind of like crap. Second of all, I talked about some things that I decided I didn't actually want to be present on my YouTube presence and on my channel, so I actually went ahead and pulled the entire video. If you watch my videos, you may have noticed. If not, then you don't know any difference, so great. Hey, welcome. How you doing? Anyways, so we're going to kind of jump back into it. We're going to refilm it. Also, there's a lot of things that have changed about my apartment, and I like how it looks now a lot better than when I filmed that video, so I want to do an updated version about that anyways. Now before we get into that video, there is some really cool new stuff that I want to go ahead and talk to you guys about. If you guys weren't aware, Disney actually dropped their first line of Star Wars Rogue One toys yesterday. They actually also have a contest going on right now where you can actually make a short film with said Star Wars merchandise and you can win some really cool sweet prizes. So I'm going to post the link to that right here so you can actually go ahead and check out those toys if you're a collector or you just really love Star Wars like I do then definitely check out some of those collectibles that they've got on the store right now some of them are really cool I'm a hundred percent sure I'm gonna be buying at least a couple of those things and throwing them on my shelf back there so I'm really excited for Star Wars Rogue One it's right around the corner just a couple months away and now we have some really awesome merchandise that we can go ahead and throw our money at in the meantime Additionally, you may have noticed, whoa, what is this crazy thing sitting in front of your mouth, Frank? Well, I actually bought a blue microphone. This is the Bluebird model. I may actually do a full-length review of this microphone a little bit later on my channel, but for now, I just want to say initial impressions. I am very impressed. It is a phantom-powered XLR microphone, which exactly suits my needs and my setup here on my channel. So I'm really looking forward to using it. Now I don't have to worry about using an overhead boom that's what I was doing before with an instrument mic I get a much more dynamic and broader range of sounds with this microphone and it came with this awesome shock mount and this awesome pop filter so it'll make my audio louder clearer crisper and just all around higher quality I also got a lapel mic which you might have noticed in my last drunchies video so I'm gonna be using that for anything that I film out in the field so major upgrade to all the audio on my channel hopefully it starts sounding a whole lot better so hopefully you guys appreciate it hopefully I can just continue making really great content that you guys enjoy anyways without further ado let's go ahead and jump into the apartment tour video what is up welcome to my apartment let's show you around the place alright so this is my bedroom slash studio this is basically where I film everything where I sleep where I do pretty much everything that doesn't involve watching TV or eating or drinking. So coming over here first, this is my workstation, my desk. I've got my blue microphone right here. I got my Behringer mixing board slash preamp. So this is how I mix down all my audio and record all my audio for my videos. I've got this really hot spot lamp right over here. So this is how I get my lighting right for my videos. Then I've got my awesome Black Widow Tournament Edition Razor keyboard. This thing is awesome and it's got a really clicky sound to it. So I really enjoy it. It makes sitting and working a little bit more fun and entertaining. Got my Logitech G700S mouse. And then over there I've got my laptop. So I actually don't have a traditional desktop set up. I run everything through my laptop and I just have everything wired out to my TV. I've got wired out to a sound bar, which I use as a monitoring and speaker system. Then same with my mouse, my keyboard, and all my audio stuff. So it ends up working out pretty well because it's easier to pack everything up and take it places. So if I'm ever going on trips, I can bring all my equipment with me and I don't have to carry you know, a large, giant CPU tower or anything like that. Then I've got my Xbox, which is actually brand new. I just got that last weekend. It was a birthday present. And then I went and bought a TV for it as well. Hey, look, it's me. And then the soundbar I've had for a while, I used to have it connected to my record player, but I thought it would make more sense to bring it in here and use it with this TV. Then some decorations on the wall. I went to North Texas, as you guys may know. I'm a huge Destiny fan, huge Godzilla fan, huge Batman fan, so... You know, your basic decorations that represent the things you love. Then I've got my bed here, which is extraordinarily comfortable. 
the entire bed is memory foam and then both the pillows are memory foam as well I love it and I think it looks pretty fancy too I've got kind of a hotel design with the uh, the tall towers here and then the dual matching lamps I just think it looks really clean and really neat then I've got all of my instruments my bass guitars my acoustic guitars my electric guitar my ukulele and then all my amps over here so one day I'll do some cool music content for you guys and then I got my keyboard right here as well so this is where I record music haven't really recorded a whole lot recently but I'm gonna get back into that and I'm gonna figure out a way to integrate that into my YouTube videos as well so you guys can check out that stuff I promise I'm not a terrible musician just a kind of terrible musician and then over here we've got my nerd shelves slash bookshelves that's where I keep all of my cool, um, awesome collectibles and figures. So you can see all those right here. I've got my awesome Sith Holocron. This thing actually opens and closes, which is pretty neat. So you can check that out. Pretty dope. So cool. Oh my god. Then I've got some lightsabers, a Master Sword replica that I made, and then more collectibles, all kinds of cool stuff over here. A lot of books, a lot of fantasy literature. I got my comics down on the bottom. I've got some sketchbooks and stuff. So all kinds of neat things that are going on over there. Then in my closet, nothing too special. It's not a lot of light in here, so sorry guys. All my clothes, I got my shoes in the back, got my jerseys, a lot of storage actually in here because Anything that I can't find a place for, I just throw in one of these bins. And then back here, I've got my cosplay costume that I wore for the Force Awakens premiere. Uh, eventually, maybe I'll do something with that, do some cool cosplay videos, or maybe I'll do some like funny skits or something. I haven't decided yet, but I definitely want to bust that out for a video at some point. Then all my clothes, my hats. I actually love hats. I don't really wear them a lot in our vi the videos because I don't think it looks very professional, but I wear hats pretty much any other time that I'm going anywhere. <clears throat> then there's a picture of me as a wee laddie with my mother, and then a picture of me as a not-so-wee laddie with my father. So there's my family, guys. And then we'll move into the bathroom. Not a whole lot in here. Just a toilet, a shower, a relatively clean sink, and then a pretty cool fancy mirror. One thing I do like about my shower though, I'll show you guys, is this shower head. It is absolutely awesome. It's a Moen shower head and I love it. It's super cool. And I bought this really cool foamy little bath mat down there. It's really comfortable so that way you don't have any rubber or plastic rubbing up on your feet. It's actually kind of like a, a squishy, foamy fabric, which I like. Got my kitchen area, which is probably the least used area in the house. I basically will sit here from time to time and eat, maybe pour myself a glass of scotch, but other than that, don't really spend a lot of time in here. Then we've got my mirror. This allows my small ass apartment to look kind of big, so I appreciate this mirror a lot. We've got two photos that I took in high school. These actually won me medals in a statewide scholastic art tournament back when I was still going to school. So I love these, pretty proud of both of these pictures. Then I've got an awesome poster signed by Anthony Green, one of my prized possessions. Then we've got my kitchen, which is probably the dirtiest part of my apartment because I hate washing dishes and cleaning. Hey, cook posy guys. So this is where I film all my Drunchies videos. As you can see, not a lot has changed since I just filmed that video like Monday, but you got your oven, your microwave, you got your extensive graveyard, because you know maybe I have a little bit of a problem, but hey, you know what? It's not interfering with my life, so who cares? You've got your espresso machine. It's a Nespresso. I love this thing. It's like a Keurig, but basically if you want to just do shots of coffee instead of drinking a giant glass of coffee it's pretty nice I love it because I don't really enjoy coffee but I do enjoy not falling asleep at work so I'm gonna make myself a cup real quick 
So while that's going, you've got your Nutribullet, all kinds of stuff that I cook with and whatnot. I got, you know, my wine rack, all that stuff. So nothing too special in here. Oh, I love the smell of espresso in the morning. Smells like victory. So then you just kind of pull this back a little bit because I don't want this to drip everywhere. All right, and then there you go. A nice little cup of espresso. Cool, so let's continue. All right, so in here we've got my living room, which is my favorite room probably in the entire apartment. It's the room I put the most work into decorating and making look nice. So take it all in, guys. Most of the furniture I have in my apartment I actually got from Nebraska Furniture Mart. I don't think they're a widespread furniture store, so if you don't live in Texas or Nebraska or around that area, then you probably won't have access to them, but they're really, really nice. That's where I got the coffee table. That's where I got the end table. That's where I got my entertainment center and... All of that stuff so I really really love them shout out to Nebraska Furniture Mart for making my apartment look cool just bought this chair last weekend actually at Ikea so Ikea is not my favorite place to buy furniture because I don't like putting it all together and I feel like it's a little bit more eclectic than my tastes are for furniture but this chair I really was into so I went ahead and bought it last weekend and then of course I've got you know my lighting and you know all kinds of wall art and stuff that Godzilla painting and the top right corner I actually painted myself I wanted to do kind of like an Eastern themed painting just to kind of add some culture and some artisticness to my apartment so I put it up there on my gallery wall then I've got my telescope which I've probably used maybe once since I've lived here and then I've got my record player all my records DVDs and video games so once again if you guys are trying to play games with me PlayStation 4, Son of Adelphia 41, Xbox Live, Son of Adelphia 41. I have both now, so you know, feel free to do that so I can have friends, please. Thank you. All right, guys. So we're going to go ahead and head out now to the balcony. So I'm going to put this down real quick. I'll come back for that later. So let's go check it out. So I live right next to an airport. That's why you hear the loud uh, airplanes. It's kind of sunny today. It's been really cool these last couple days, but it looks like I guess that's over. It's getting kind of hot, but this is my balcony. So welcome. Nothing too fancy here. I've got some camping chairs. I've got that cheap little plastic table, um, but then I've got a lot of plants. So I've got that palm tree, some herbs that are all dying because I'm apparently a gardener. And then I've got my cactus. So eventually this is supposed to grow prickly pears. So I'm really hoping that one day it'll actually grow fruit because prickly pear is actually really delicious. If you've never had it, then I feel bad for you, son, because I've got 99 problems, but prickly pear ain't one. Uh, and then I've got an aloe plant, which I don't necessarily need for anything. I just bought it because I thought it looked cool. And yeah, and then I got this cool bamboo fence. This nice netting, which keeps a lot of the bugs out, and I've got some really cool lights up there, so when it's nighttime, this place is pretty popping. Maybe one day I'll post a video where you guys can see what it looks like at night. But yeah, I basically just sit here at the end of the day when I'm not doing anything, maybe grab a drink, bring out my little speaker, my little Bluetooth speaker, and just play some tunes and relax and just enjoy the fact that I'm alive and that I get to do all this stuff because you know, I'm pretty blessed. You know, some people have to really work hard for, for you know, just to make ends meet. So I'm very blessed. I'm very fortunate. And I, I appreciate, you know, that I have a YouTube channel, that I have, you know, at least a minuscule following with my videos. And that I can, you know, make cool content and just entertain people. That's awesome. So that's about it. I'm going to go ahead and grab that cup of coffee I made earlier. And I'm going to sit out here and relax and enjoy the wonderful sunny afternoon but uh thank you guys so much for checking out now uh, go ahead and get the out of my uh, apartment peace out guys <laughs>